Uh, hi, I'm Hugh Bergenser, and I'm going to talk about uh, RNNs in PyTorch. Uh, I'm going to try an experiment, and I'm just going to like not prepare because I tried that in one of my other videos, and people kind of liked it more than the ones where I prepared. Um, so, um, right. <clears throat> so I'm simply going to present how to use an RNN in PyTorch, and um, I'm not going to present any theory. I'm not going to say what is an RNM. I'm going to assume you know that because uh, I knew it when I looked at it to start with. And I'm basically pretending kind of that I was me a couple of hours ago. Uh, all right. So if we go to the documentation and we look for, so let me uh, close this and close this and close all the things where I've been spamming people on the forums. And uh, let's just move this into here uh, so that it's visible. So uh, there we go. Uh, all right. <coughs> so uh, yeah. All right. So here's the, the PyTorch docs page. So uh, I did kind of sneakily already go there, but let's go to docs. Um, and this is turn around slightly. Uh, all right, so we're looking for an RNN, right? So we're going to go to torch.nn, um, and I scroll down, and it's in um, recurrent layers, right? Uh, so there we go, RNN. Uh, I quite like the functional ones, right? So I also had a look in functional uh, here. Uh, because they work in a similar way to um, TensorFlow, which is what I've been using recently. Uh, but, but there's no um, recurrent layer in the functional. You can see we've got convolutional, pooling, etc. But no, so, so we're going to need to use the, um, the functor versions, right? Uh, OK, so recurrent layers. And I'm simply going to like probably like pass some random numbers in and just check the dimensions and stuff, right? Uh, if I have no idea what I'm doing, I'm going to do kind of experiment or to try without doing any preparation. Right, so what does it say? We've got torch.nn.rnn. Uh, all right, so let's start doing some sort of um, Python -y code. Uh, let's clear that. Uh, so let's do uh, test. I bet I've already got a zillion of those. Uh, so I don't know, like, uh, how many of those do I have? I uh, don't have any. Uh, OK, and let's make this. Uh, smaller. Uh, there we go. And let's get rid of the sidebar and make this a bit smaller. Okay. All right. So import torch and then uh, rnn equal torch dot rnn. Cool. All right, and then what does it need? So let's have a look. So uh, it says it needs the input size and the hidden size and the number of layers. So we're going to keep it really simple. Uh, so I'm going to put, um, so hidden size. Uh, so, well, uh, I'm going to assume, well, I know because I checked earlier. Uh, so input size is the, like, we've got the, well, OK, so let's create some input. Uh, so we're just going to have a tensor. And let's say it is, let's say we've got batch size equal, I don't know, 5. And set clan equal uh, 7. And um, Okay, so we've got a tensor which is batch size by SACLAN. And um, we're saying gonna say it's a torch dot rand. Okay. And um, so let's have a look at what we need. We need SACLAN, batch and input size. So SACLAN is the number of time steps, right? Batch is the number of examples and input size is the number of features. So let's have something saying uh, input size. And let's say we have, I don't know, um, <clears throat> let's say uh, two features. 
Okay, so here we've got input size. Move this across. Yeah, all right. Uh, okay, so we've got an input tensor. So batch size, seclan, input size. And here it says seclan batch input size. And we've got, so we need to put the seclan first, right? So we're going to put the seclan first. And so that's our input, right? Cool. So this might be one hot or something like that. But here I'm just feeding it random numbers. Uh, but in practice, this would probably be one hot, and this would probably come from our embedding, uh, which I won't have time for in this. Right. And then uh, we need an initial state. Uh, so where's the? Well, let's print. Let's print the input for now. So Python test RNN. All right, so we've got a bunch of input, just some numbers. Right, and then we probably need some initial state. So again, we're going to use torch.rand. And the state should be here, right? So when we call this RNN, uh, we're going to call it with the input and the H0, and the H0 should be number of layers times number of directions. So what's number of directions? Uh, so I had a look here. So bidirectional. So I reckon if bidirectional is false, number of directions is probably one. And if bidirectional is true, uh, number of directions is probably two. So uh, and we just kind of want one layer, one direction. So this is one. Uh, batch is going to be the batch size and hidden size hidden size, do we have a hidden size? Hidden size is another number do, that we don't have here. So let's say hidden size is 32. So that's going to be the size. So I'm assuming that you know the RNN, right? Okay, so uh, here, oh wait, uh, here, right? So the state here is going to be, so we've got one layer times one direction. And then the next bit was batch size. And the next bit was hidden size. And we're going to make those as zeros for our initial state, right? And then the RNM, uh, we need the input size, the hidden size, number of layers, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So we've got input size equal uh, input size and hidden size equal hidden size. And num layers, we're just going to have one. And uh, nonlinearity, let's use Tanha, which is the default actually, it says. And what else have we got? Bias, uh, default to true, that sounds good. Batch first is uh, default uh, false, so the sec is first. Yeah, so I think like, this is good. So here's an RNN. Uh, so let's print this. And I, I guess it just says like RNN. Torch has no more. Yeah, all right. So this should be like torch.nn.rnm. OK, so we've got our RNN. Uh, so rather than printing the input, let's print the input dot size. Right, we're just kind of like checking dimensions, right? Uh, all right, so the input size is 752. The RNN is 232. So 2 is the input size, and 32 is the hidden size. Uh, and similarly here, this is the set clan, the batch size, and the input size. So this has to match this. All right, and then we're going to do RNN. We're just going to call it. So this is going to give us, all right, so I'm cheating because I memorized it. Ah. So the outputs is the output and the state. This HN is the state, tensor containing the hidden state. And uh, we've got the output, which is tensor containing the output. All right, so we're going to have out state equal RNN. So we're going to replace the old, the contents of the state variable, we're going to replace it with the new state. Uh, we're going to have to pass in probably the input and the old state. 
So we have to pass in the input and the old state, right? H0 is the is the original is the original state, and then this. Uh, all right, and then let's print the out dot size, and the out dot size, and print the state dot size, and the state dot size. I think that should be it. Torch dot float tenants object has no attribute data. Right, because we probably need to make something here uh, into an autograd dot variable. And uh, I don't think we need bat prop onto the state. We will bat prop onto weights. The weights are inside the RNN, right? So we just need to make this into a variable, this into a variable. Uh, from torch import autograd. And then, then it runs, OK? And then the output is uh, the same dimensions. Well, no, not the same dimensions as the input. Right, the input size has become the hidden size. Uh, batch size is the same. Set clan is the same. And then we've got our state. So this is the number of layers times the number of directions. It's just one. Five was the batch size, and 32 is the hidden size. So this should match this. Uh, the input size here matches this. This 32 here matches this and this. And good. Uh, OK, somehow that managed to fill 12 minutes. So I think that's enough. So great.